How's it going guys? Quick one right now today. I'm actually just making a video to show you guys how to get to the sand crabs. I had someone request this for me. They said that they couldn't quite understand the other ones and also that they were a little bit outdated once he did understand it. So I'm just going to make a quick one just to cover that and show you how to get here to the sand crabs where there is a really good place to train. You can AFK pretty well and there's a bank chest which makes it even better. So we're going to start here at the Grand Exchange because it's somewhere that everyone's going to know where to find it anyway. Also, you are going to want to have a Amulet of Glory and a Stamina Potion I would recommend having. I assume your agility is not too high considering you don't know where Sand Crabs is just yet. Anyway, once you've got that, all you're going to want to do is put on your Glory and teleport to Drainer Village. Once in Drainer Village, all you're going to want to do is... Make sure your compass is facing north and run west. Follow that down. You want to you're going to want to get yourself to Port Sarim. So you'll get to watch me on screen now, sped up, just to get to where we need to go. Okay, so if you just look on the map at the moment, you'll see that we're actually near the pub and we're on the very first point of the pier. You'll see this shady looking fella here and he's called Vios or Veos or however you want to pronounce it. Right click him and just press Port Priscilius. You want to teleport, you want not teleport, you want to sail there and once we get there I'll show you what to do next. Hop off the boat and then make sure you come to space in north and run west again. Once you come to the end of this pier, you're going to want to run down this path here to the south and then run again west. Just keep your compass facing north the whole time to do this. It just makes it a little bit easier. And then once you get to this fork in the road here, you're just going to want to run south the whole way down and just keep following it down. So just follow me on screen and once we get to the next sort of crossroads, I'll show you where to go. So just keep following this south, you don't want to come off this path, just keep going south. When the road gets to this big town centre bit here, just go straight down south again to the only path following out through the south exit. Keep following south down past this cabbage field, we are almost there, don't worry too much. It's Seems like a bit of a long trip, but I promise you we're nearly there. And then the road will stop here. You're going to want to just follow it across and don't worry about it anymore. All you're going to want to do now is make sure you keep running south until you hit the coast. So now that we've arrived at the coast, you can see here all the people training on sand crabs. It's usually quite busy. This spot here on the right hand side does have four crabs that you can stand in the middle of an AFK. And these two here where these other two people are do have three crabs spawned and you can still AFK there quite well as it is. Now over to the left or the west there is more spots that you can AFK on. So just have a look around and see what you can find but those spots I showed you at the beginning are definitely alright. If you keep running west you're going to find where the bank chest is and where we started this video. So I hope that's helped guys. I hope it's quite simple and easy to follow and sand crabs is definitely a good place to start. So if it does help then please do like and subscribe. I am going to be making a bit more old school content. This was just one to help out seeing as someone requested it for me and I'll see you later. Bye.